hello everyone after basics of rod joints let's start its first topic sleeve and quarter joint so what is sleeve and quarter joint as you can see in the figure this is the assembled view of sleeve and quarter joint in the figure rod a this is the first rod rod b second rod sleeve and two quarters are there now this is the simplest of all quarter joints used for fastening to circular rods so end rods are circular cross sectional area is circular to make the joint the rods are enlarged at their ends and the slots are cut after keeping the rods but against each other a sleeve with slot is placed over them after aligning the slots properly two quarters are driven in through the slots resulting in the joint the rod ends are enlarged to take care of the weakening effect caused by the slots the slots in the rods and sleeve are made slightly wider than the width of quarter so for the construction work we have to calculate upper and lower width of the quarter and last when sleeve and rods are subjected to axial tensile force then the quarter quarter is subjected to shearing force these joints are useful for light transmission of axial loads so this is the basic now as you can see we have total five elements in this joint rod a first element rod b second element sleeve common for rod a and rod b third element and two quarters now let's start first problem of sleeve and quarter joint problem statement figure given below shows the exploded drawing of a sleeve and quarter joint assemble these parts correctly and then draw the following views to scale 1 is to 1 first front view full in section second side view viewing from the left then print title and scale used draw the projection symbol and give eight important dimensions so in this problem details details of sleeve and quarter joints are given to us and detailed view is in the form of pictorial or isometric view so separately rod first rod and second rod separately sleeve and separately quarter is given to us now different dimensions of first rod are total length 100 then for the slot for the slot width is missing here but the distance from end from end means from the left end is 37 and the width no it's not width it's thickness thickness of the slot quarter slot is 8 then diameter 30 diameter 24 diameter 30 is extended diameter and diameter 24 is the core or base diameter of the rod similarly for the second rod dimensions are same 137 dia 30 dia 24 and thickness 8 one thing is important here three three in the quarter slot a distance three is given to us that three is actually the clearance which we will cover after assembling so let's focus on sleeve for sleeve external diameter is dia 66 internal dia dia is th 30 3030 which is equals to the external dia of the rod rod a and rod b then for quarter slot the distance is 30 from extreme left and 30 from extreme right so we have two quarter slots for two quarters and again the thickness is 8 8 and 3 that 3 is again the clearance then last quarter for quarter upper width is 32 lower width is 28 and total length is 50 plus 50 100 and thickness of the quarter 8 so these are total 5 but four, uh, four elements are given to us, two rods separately, then a sleeve, then one quarter. And quarter two of is mentioned here. It means we have two similar quarters in this joint. So our task is first to assemble these parts correctly and then to draw its front view, full in section and side view. So in these type of problems first of all try to focus on the bigger part or the central part so central and bigger part is its uh, sleeve so first of all try to draw 
projection or front view of the sleeve separately so first of all try to project sleeve in your sheet now for construction work first of all draw reference line reference or xy line parallel to bottom base edge of your sheet then mark midpoint mid or central point and then from this point total distance total distance end to end distance for the sleeve is 90 plus 90 180 so from this point mark 90 and 90 in both the directions so 90 and 90 this is 90 and again in the second direction we have to mark 90 this is 90 okay so after marking two ends of the sleeve internal die is 30 so half of 30 15 up 15 down then external dia 66 again half of 66 33 up 33 down internal dia 30 external dia 66 extend it for the second end extend it for the second end okay so this is the structure of sleeve this is the sleeve and from its center point this is the center line now this is the quarter whose dimensions are internal layer 30 external layer 66 and total length 90 plus 90 180 180 now after sleeve after sleeve we have to mark its ends for the slot so for the slot the given distance is 30 from extreme left and 30 from extreme right on the sleeve on the sleeve so from this point 30 from this point 30 30 and 30 these are limits of quarter slot on the sleeve on the sleeve similarly the right hand side from the corner 30 from the corner 30 okay then second and third element of this joint rod a and rod b first rod and second rod now for the rods it is clear that n to n distance is 100 but 2 into 45 is also mentioned there on the ends so from the end from the last end 2 with angle 45 is to be taken so if we insert first rod from this direction from this side on the sleeve inside the sleeve and second rod from that direction then end to end distance is 100 plus 100 and on this end on this end means on the touching side we have to mark initially 2 into and the angle is 45 so 45 45 45 45 for the given section okay this is the first thing which we have to do so in the central plane in the central plane from this point from this point means from the limits of diameter 30 2 down 2 down 2 right 2 left 45 means distances are equal so from this point 2 2 2 or angle is 45 so 2 at angle 45 
two at angle 45 draw lines and join them like this then the length is 100 and length of the sleeve from this plane is 90 so we have to extend it for 10 10 and please use light pencil for initial construction work so further extension of 10 further extension of 10 in both the directions right so up to this length the diameter is 30 and after this the diameter is uh, 24 yes 24 so from this end half of 24 12 half of 24 12 extend it for suitable length again half of 24 12 half of 24 12 extend it for suitable length now quarter slot on the rod first rod and second rod again for the slot the distance is 37 so from this corner the distance is 37 and for the slot for the slot distance mentioned on the sleeve was 30 so this is 30 on sleeve this is 30 and on the rod this is 37 it means will have a clearance of 3 mm so from this corner this is 37 and from this corner this is 27 and this is 30 so 30 minus 27 is 3 so this is the clearance right now similarly on the right hand side from this corner the distance is 37 so draw first side of the quarter slot next and very important concept the dimension dimension or width of the quarter slot is not given to us but say this is the slot for the rod and this is the slot this is the slot actually the width is same so this is the slot okay so this is the slot slot width or slot on the sleeve and this is the size of the slot on the rod so this is the width on the rod and this is the width on the sleeve but for proper insertion of the quarter we will have to focus on common cavity this is the common cavity this is the common cavity and the cavity width common slot width or common cavity width must be equal to the central or average width of the quarter in the central axis or in the mean line so taking these all concepts into the consideration we have to start construction work from this line so this is the point from where we have to start construction work of the quarter and we know that for quarter taper is on the opposite faces so for the sleeve and quarter joint these are opposite faces on which we will enjoy the taper so these are flat vertical faces and these are tapered faces so this end is flat similarly right side of the sleeve for the second slot for the second quarter this side or this end will be a flat vertical side for the quarter so for construction work for construction work we'll start from this point draw a vertical line from this point 50 down and 50 up then other dimensions of the quarter are 32 and 28 so from this point 32 and from this point 38 lower width sorry 28 and upper width 32 and then join these two points like this similarly on the right hand side this is the common starting plane of the cavity so from this point vertically 
for 50 vertically for 50 and then 28 and 32 and join them so these are quarters with taper on opposite faces okay then we know that the width of the slot is same or constant for both rod and for sleeve so this is the clearance on the rod it means on the sleeve the clearance will be on this side so calculate this length or width which is 3 mm and mark 3 and 3 mm on the sleeve mark 3 and 3 mm on the sleeve for clearance similarly on the right hand side from this corner 3 3 this is clearance again on the sleeve 3 and 3 this is the clearance now the rough structure is ready and we are required to show its front view full in section full in section means sectional front view for upper and lower part now in this problem fillet radius is also missing so we'll assume suitable fillet radius say 5 m so for all corners 5 5 this is the center from the corner 5 5 this is the center 5 5 5 and 5 so these are four centers now for the front view full in section we know that we have to show parts of quarter fully or visible throughout its height or length so first of all show outlines of quarter then for upper and lower curved end this is radius this point as center first eye this point as center second eye get the center and this point as center this much as radius upper curved part similarly for the lower part this much as radius this much as radius this point as center first arc then this as center second arc this is your center from this center this much as radius similarly we have to repeat this process for second cutter then remaining portion of the sleeve with fillet fillet r5 okay so these are parts of sleeve next for rod these are parts of rod so use tack pencil again because in this problem we have to draw its front view full in section full in section okay this is the part of rod which we don't have to show so right okay so these are parts of rod no this is also missing and then clearance so clearance on sleeve clearance on rod clearance on rod clearance on sleeve right and then ends of the 
rod ends of the rod and for the end the radius is to be calculated calculated by using these two dimensions 30 and 24 so 30 minus 24 is 6 6 minus uh, 6 by 2 is 3 so this gap or distance is 3 it means the fillet radius is 3 in this part so extend it for 3 this is center 3 as radius extend it for suitable length again fillet radius is 3 extend it similarly fillet radius 3 extend it fillet radius 3 and extend it now ends of the rod ends of the rod with sectional representation like this ends of the rod with sectional representation like this now this is also missing here and right next please hedge sleeve fully and please maintain constant gap between two hedging lines 2 3 or 4 mm for the sleeve and the angle is 45 angle of hedging lines 45 from axis or from reference line okay now for rod it's up to you hatch this part of rod fully or you can also hatch partially so for partial hatching specify limits and then hatch them again for uh, rod for the rod angle is 45 plus the distance but the distance is generally less than the distance for the sleeve so distance between two lines two hatching lines is less than the distance between two hatching lines You strain the part of sleeve okay and please change the pattern of hatching for left and right rod so we'll change the direction and please maintain constant constant distance between two hatching lines with angle 45 And last for ends of the rod like this next for its side view please project its limits limits from the front view parallel to XY line so project them parallel to XY line for side view like this so from the side from this side first of all this circle or circular section of the rod is visible to us so draw first circle of dia 24 then second dark visible circle of dia 30 then third circle of dia 66 so for the side view draw three concentric circles of dia 24 30 and 66 and before that draw its vertical axis okay so first circle of dia 24 these are limits 
first dark circle of dia 24 it's a circle second dark circle of dia 30 and third dark and visible circle of dia 66 okay so these are three circles i know these curves are elliptical but please assume that these elliptical curves are circles of dia first is of dia 24 second dia 30 and third dia 66 for the representation of first dia second dia of the rod and third circle is for the sleeve then for quarter if you see the pictorial view of quarter the thickness of quarter is 8 so the thickness is 8 it means from the side view from the center half of 8 4 half of 8 4 and then draw lines parallel to axis up to the sleeve and then hidden up to the circumference of sleeve up to the circumference of the sleeve again dark visible up to the limit of quarter to the limit of quarter means for 50 right then for additional extension these are additional extension the dia or thickness is not given to us but uh, generally the upper thickness and lower thickness is generally half of this thickness so from this point half of 8 4 so total is 8 and half of 8 is 4 on the top so half of 4 2 half of 4 2 join them like this similarly total thickness 8 and here the thickness is if not given half so half of 8 is 4 and half of 4 on left and right sides so 2 and 2 okay so this is the complete projection from the side side view of the assembly then from this direction sectional view of the rod is to be shown so please H circle of dia 24 like this and then do dimensioning for front view and for side view. so for dimensioning and uh, yes thickness of quarter then we have length length of the sleeve and length of the rods then 28 32 this is 90 and this is 100 which I am showing here because I don't have enough space so 90 and 100 this is 28 32 clearance 3 
3 clearance 3 this is 4 total is 4 clearance 3 then dia 30 dia 66 and total thickness 8 and length of the quarter Okay, this is 24 dia 24 524 or dia 24 for all fillets and rounds radius is 5 so please write radius is 5 for all fillets and rounds then naming fillets and rounds and then heading of the front view front view full in section so right front view full in section And for side view, left hand side view. And one more thing, front view full in section. So we have to show section plane in the front view or section line in the side view sorry so arrow and arrow for the representation of direction of section or sectional view okay then write scale used and symbol scale 1 is to 1 and symbol of first angle projection method like this And last overall heading of the drawing sleeve and quarter joint sleeve and quarter joint and in bracket right assembly or assembled view assembly or assembled view so this is all from my side in this problem from the pictorial view front view full in section assembled front view full in section for the sleeve and quarter joint in this problem i'll request you to please draw front view of the sleeve then insert rods then mark ends of cavity then insert cutter and then hatch it hatch parts of sleeve rod and then draw project its side view and then do proper naming and dimensioning.
and if you have any doubt any problem in any of the topic of engineering graphics class 11th class 12th or of university scheme please write your comments in the comment box thank you